wanted to use the 400 meter race of Cathy Freeman because we think that this is part of the DNA of the country. If we want to store something on DNA, we would like to use something that's the DNA of the country. In this case, it's about sport. She was the first individual gold medal winner with an Aboriginal background. This is part of the collective memory of Australia. Data storage in itself is, I think, the biggest challenge for an audiovisual archive. Managing all these data means that we need to have this, the right skills, the right equipment, um, but also a future vision about what a digital archive will be. And it's about managing data rather than physical objects. And we started discussions about a year ago and we found out that both NFSA and IOC have the same innovative approach. We started to talk about that topic and we thought it could be interesting because we're um, facing similar issues to combine forces here. There are several key benefits of DNA. The first one is the small size of DNA, which means that you get an amazing density of information. And you could take the content of dozens of data centers and they could fit into a sugar cube. The idea of being able to store such a colossal amount of information into such a tiny medium is simply revolutionary and opens up so many possibilities to safeguard our precious content in an efficient and sustainable way. Unlike current data, DNA can last up to 100,000 years. So there's thousands and thousands of years of this data being stored in a physical format that will never disappear. Because we want to make sure we preserve all our audiovisual assets for a generation to come. So of course if we manage to save that file and to retrieve it, this will be a big success. If storage on synthetic DNA will become a viable solution. And so if we know that from this pilot it will work in the future, we will suddenly see a whole new reality when it comes to the management of collections, the management of data. A lot of things that we need to do in order to make our collections accessible, we can do.